Oh, I hear footsteps. You hear them, right? And here we go. Oh. <laughs> All right, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of Mori's Nightmare. And as I understand, this was a fairly popular Korean animated short film. So popular, in fact, that we have a game based on it. Now, I'm a really big fan when it comes to, like, Asian thriller, horror games, stuff like that. You, you guys just seem to do it so well in comparison, you know? Like, we have covered games such as Incubo in the past, which is really, really good. We checked out Dread Out. We saw Fragile in action as well. Like, for some reason, you guys just have it locked down when it comes to creepy horror. So I wanted to give the Korean bros a chance here with Mori's Nightmare and see what it's all about. Apparently, it seems to follow the adventures of this kid who seems to be suffering from moon face <laughs> pizza pie. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's going on with his face. Maybe the reason he came to this hospital is because of this face. Who knows? I guess we'll find out here together in case you're unfamiliar with Mori's Nightmare. For now, though, let's hop to it. <웃음> 저기요, 일어나요. 어? 저, 저 아저씨 어디 가셨대요? 몰라요. 아침 되니까 없던데. 간호사 말로는 죽었다는 것 같기도 하고. 에? 죽었다고요? 갑자기 나가
I better get there before someone finds me. I can run Woodsy. Okay. All right, buddy. I got it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Before I do that, though, I'm seeing a shiny over here. And we found ourselves a pair of acupressure slippers. What do we need these for? These slippers look like they'd give a good massage for your feet. They belong to the man who died today. But why? Ah, the staircase door is power locked. I think I need a key card to open this blue door. Ugh, there's no way I'll survive if the nurse catches me. I have no choice. I have to find a way to go downstairs while avoiding the nurse. I better check the nearby lobby first. Maybe I can find something useful in the nurse's desk. Okay, let's head to the lobby on the second floor, which is, uh, I guess where we're at right now. I guess we could run right now as, um, nurse is nearby. We do have a stamina system now. Found the map of the second floor. So it seems the lounge is the one that's highlighted from our location, which would be the lobby. So we just want to go straight up the hallway we just came from, huh? I hear footsteps, but I think those are mine. Yeah, I gotta also take care of my footsteps, which is a problem, because I'm going to get those confused with the nurse all the time. Found a discarded note. It says, get out of here. What's up with this hospital? Okay. This is where, like, those surround sound headphones are going to really come to play, I imagine. This is the lounge I saw the map. I better check this door. The door has a note stuck on it. A patient lost the lounge key. Can the key be in one of the patient's room? Maybe the map can give me some clues. Well, we came out of 201, there was nothing there. We went to 202 just now, right? And we saw there was a note, so there's nothing there. So it's going to be 203 or 204 then. Let us go check this one out. This should be one of the patient rooms, right? There's no sh Oh, there's a shiny here. Found the lounge key, second floor. Now I can open the second floor lounge. Okay, so let's just go back. Oh, I hear footsteps. You hear them, right? And here we go. Oh! <laughs> Didn't hear that one though, did you, buddy? <laughs> okay. No longer need this key. Perfect. Get it out of here. Look at that. It's your your brother in the table there. Um, let's pick this up. Dressing room key. Now I can open the dressing room. Where's the dressing room? Oh, behind the lobby or the the nurse's station. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. I, I I just wanted to save actually, but um. Okay. What do we got here? Found the key card location note. It must it must have a clue for opening the door. Hmm. If the chief used the card key for the first floor, then the blue key card must be in his office. Documents can hold clues. I better check them often in my bag. Check the item in the bag. Some items contain info about the hospital. Check your eye items in the safe place. Which one? Yeah, yeah. All right, I better find the chief's office on the map. Okay, we shall do that, but there's also a shiny here, so... Oh, nice! Oh, we have a lot of rooms that require the, the yellow key card. I should equip this to open yellow doors. Gotta find the blue key card to get out of here, though. Remember, key cards can be equipped with number key. Oh, all right. It's actually very handy. Thank you. Bring up people with that and chief. Okay, so basically go down the hallway, straight and up. Not too bad. Is she around? Surprise, motherfucker! She got me. First one. Took her a while though. You know, I think we did fairly good for the most part. I guess I'll check these pictures out afterwards. Let me just check out this office first. This door is password locked. I don't know the password. Ah, a piece of paper stuck on the side. The office staff is in charge of the password. I should go to the second floor office and find a way to open the door. I guess since we're now supposed to just crack the password to enter the GS office, I guess we could probably start popping some of these doors randomly, right, with the yellow key. Start with here if we can. Found the chief's office password log document. This document must have a clue for the password to the chief's office door. Uh, discarded note. A clue to the chief's password. New password. The orders of the hallway photos. Okay, so this is the other office. Secrets of the nameplates document. What the hell is this? It has info about the nameplates in the exam rooms. So you're telling me to go to the exam rooms now? 
There is actually an exam room, like, very nearby to us. There should be two up here, as a matter of fact. Let's do the save. And pop in here. Nameplate. Okay, that's probably it. Dr. Kim nameplate. What can I do with it? You know what? We'll check it later. We can hide in the zest if we have to, though. We have a locker over here as well. Let us... Chill? No, we're good. This is the other one, right? Yes. And we got two more down below. Okay, so I secured the second nameplate this time around, no problem. And it turns out I can actually hide in places and look at my items in peace. So... By doing that, we have picked up two nameplates. We have O, number 8, Kim, number 2. And if we read this, it says that apparently the order of the hallway photos is the new password, and the blue thing that we picked up, create the password with the number on the doctor's nameplate. So this tells us how to do it, this tells us the order. So, it basically is fairly self-explanatory. Now the problem is, from here we gotta go down, hook left, exam room, exam room, and get into the hallway for the chief's office, so... It's not the most difficult thing to do, as long as we just keep our ears open. Should be okay. And you know what? Abuse the save, why not, my friend? Why not? We don't want to hang out here too long, just grab and run, because... In the rooms, it's fairly difficult, because sometimes the prompts don't show up for the desk to hide, so you could be in trouble. Just one more. I heard her. She's, she's to my left, she's to my left. As a matter of fact, she literally went in- you saw? She went into the room that I just came out of right now. So had we gone in, we would have basically been caught. She's off to the right. Perfect. Now we grab this. Here we go. Dr. Han is number one. Jin is number two. Han Jin. Oh, okay. Han Jin Oh. Kim. Han Jin Oh Kim. Okay. Han Jin Oh Kim. Han is five, four, oh Kim, five, four, eight, two. Oh, she showed up. I'll have you die a painful dad. I better go. Uh, am I doing this fast or what? Oh, no. oh come on. What was that about? Ha! <laughs> Got it. So, <laughs> I'm not sure that that's all that's supposed to happen. So I guess I didn't move forward enough to trigger the door to automatically close and lock her out. All right. Well, you live and learn. Whew, I'm in. But how can I get out of here? Maybe the map will give me some clues. The map will give you some clues? Oh, you mean about the secret passage from here to the warehouse? So we want to go into the warehouse, hook in, go all the way down, take the stairs. We still don't have the blue key card though, unless it's this. Eureka! I can equip this key card? Yeah, yeah. So, do we need the yellow one anymore? I think we got everything yellow, correct? Yeah. So at this point, we can indeed go blue. And... Let's see, since maybe we have some freedom now, maybe we could find some hidden stuff here. I don't know if there is anything hidden, but... He's the doctor who- Oh, that's right! The doctor gave me the medicine the day before. I knew he looked like a quack. So, can we assume that he's the guy behind stuff and she's reporting to him? Between the books, there's a specimen photo. I hope it's not of a person. It's absolutely necessary that we secure a large amount of funds for our great cause. What kind of hospital is this? Yeah, what are they doing to people? There's a file on the computer that reads, The funds must be transferred to... Their destination has been removed. I hear her running around. I hope she's not circling into this place. A secret passage? What kind of hospital is this? Oh, you know, the one with a uh, random saw on the floor there? Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> now I gotta contend with you guys too, huh? Okay, so now we go. And there's a shiny right there, but check it out. Of course, there's another sensor right there. So we grab that now. Time is frozen, right? Hopefully it is. Old wire cutter. It might break after just one use. Okay. So what do we need this for? If it's a one-time use thing, I can't imagine it's going to be for these uh, lockers here. Was there like a wrap somewhere around the elevator, perhaps? The nurse may be chasing me. 
Let's go to the stairs without going anywhere else. Okay. So just hook right, go all the way down, and to the left, to the stairs. Gotcha. We got it. Oh boy. Um, is this a, a troublesome light? It can't be, right? Because it seems to be right next to the safe. No, it's just a regular red light. Don't know where I'm going from this point. Unless it's this one? It's padlocked. I can't get in. There's a warehouse lock written inside. The last person to open it was the nurses. Oh, good. Is there a designated place with nurses? I better find out. Well, we could find out if we, um, you know, could possibly find a map of this place. Padlock this well. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Now, actually, let's hide and take a look at this map really carefully. This is the perfect spot. Okay, so we are... Stairs we came up, office was closed. We're in the main gate right now. So, nurse's room is where we gotta go. So basically, just hook, keep going down this hallway, hook a right, and that'll be it. It has like a similar layout to the second floor, thankfully. So it's not too... different. Now, it's the nurse hanging out in the nurse's station, too, having a little cup of joe, meanwhile. Waiting for me to show up. The injection room key. Okay. Now, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Before we take a look at that, let's hide. Injection room key is what we're looking for, and that's gonna be right above us. Okay, injection room. We have a notepad. Found a nurse's log. It's a nurse log. It might have some useful clues. Well, if we're gonna read those, we're gonna do it inside this blue box here. The lounge key disappeared after the laundry staff took the clothes. The warehouse key is in the night duty room. And the red key card on the first floor lounge. The office keys are in the exam rooms. Exam room password, the doctor's erase number. Now, is it just me or does it not feel like uh, this log from this nurse is a bit too convenient for the player? Like, what's the chance that you find this log telling you exactly where every single thing you possibly need to escape in one single piece of paper, you know what I'm saying? It's a bit too convenient, it's like having a master key to everything in reality, but I'm out of time, I'm gonna go and wrap it up here for this one. This has been Maurice Nightmare, fairly good. For a 99 cent game, I cannot complain. I'll catch you guys next time.